Hello, this is Auto Tool, and today we'd like to do a demonstration of our CSM 600 split frame machine. This machine is capable of doing between 18 and 24 inches. We'd like to go through all the demonstrations of putting it onto the pipe and uh, how to set it up and use it. So today we will start with the, uh, uh, a piece of pipe that is 20, uh, 20 inches in diameter and uh, we will show you how it works. First we're going to have to go and put the lower part of the clamshell onto the pipe with the piece that's already on, sitting on the pipe. So we will start with that. You go and you put it down, and uh, you're going to lock three screws down that hold the split frame together on both sides. After you get all six bolts tightened down, now you're going to have to adjust your four pads that clamp down the uh, clamshell to the pipe. So the first set we have already set up and aligned. Now we're going to go through and clamp down the last part. We have to make sure that the piece is aligned correctly and by doing this, we will lower the cutting blade down close to the pipe, and then we will rotate it around to make sure our alignment looks correct. Before you put the air motor in, there's a clamp that will lock it. We have to pull the lockout pins out. And it's, this will let the piece rotate around. We'll adjust the delay. Make sure they're all snug and tight. You want to bring it down to about an inch to the pipe. Now that we have gotten our uh, cutting tool close and center, so when it travels all the way around, we have lined our pads up, we are now getting ready to cut. You want to get your cutting tool close enough to the pipe without hitting it, getting it ready, and then we're going to rotate the, uh, the head, and we want to make sure the bevel bit is farther back. We will engage that a little bit after. So we want the cutting to start first and the bevel to follow afterwards. So now that we're getting this, we want to make sure this is back far enough so when it starts feeding in, it won't start feeding in until after the, uh, the uh, cutting bit is in deep enough to uh, start your bevel. So the next thing we're going to do, after we have now adjusted our tool bits, we have adjusted our pads, we've got everything aligned, we want to set up and put the air motor on. Lock in our air motor. Take our air, hook it up.
and we want to slowly rotate it around make sure that we don't have any type of problems with the bit hitting still in good shape <clears throat> we also have our adjustment pin that's over here on the side that will lead and feed the uh, piece in so we've now set up our tool bit and we're ready to cut so I'm going to go and put in the feed and we'll start the air motor. We'll take a couple minutes for it to feed in. There we go. You can also use a cooling if you can, and all you're going to do is squirt a little on to help it when it starts cutting. Again, as you can see, we have now did a complete cut with the bevel of 30 degrees, and uh, this will show you that the cutoff that you can do all the way up from 2 inch to, uh, pipe all the way up to 60 inch pipe. Uh, hopefully this will give you a good demonstration of what our tools are capable of doing, and we look forward to doing business with you. Thank you and have a great day.